Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Legacy Factions. Now this is a really awesome plugin, it brings back the 1.6 Factions experience with some performance enhancements and it's now updated to 1.11 or the latest version of Minecraft. So first of all we are going to go through some player commands and then some admin commands and finally we are going to look at the config file at the end. So first of all uh, let's do F help and as you can see there are six different help pages full of commands uh, but first of all we are going to disband my current faction so if you're a normal player you can do F create and then a faction name so we're going to call it test and then you can set a description so it says it's a high for example and uh, then if we do F help we can do lots of things so uh, if we go to help 2 and 3 you can see that you can invite other players to join you can kick players from your faction and you can join other people's factions now if we do F open this will open up your faction and allow anyone to join without an invitation uh, but be careful you don't really want anyone to join so uh, be careful with that command once you've done that you can start claiming land and building on it so if we do forward slash F claim this will claim our first piece of land and if you put a number after the claim that will increase the radius however if we look here you will see it says you can't claim more land you need more power how do you get more power well you can either cheat and use an admin command or you can use um, more people so if you get more players in your faction you can have more power so if we do F map, you can see all of these um, places that we've claimed as you can see it's not very big but uh, it's a start and if you have lots of power <coughs> you can do auto claim um, and every time you walk around um, and go into a new area you will claim it but obviously we haven't got any more power so that won't work if you do forward slash f status that will show information about myself so i have 10 out of 10 power and last seen online um, i'm obviously online now so uh, that's why it shows that so if we go back to the help um, we can do a pretty awesome thing so f chat spy this is for admins but uh, this will allow you to spy on chat and make sure people are not up to no good uh, which is pretty funny and uh, if we go back to F uh, help I think it's on page two or three uh, you can set your uh, faction to peaceful if you want but uh, the whole point of factions is that you attack people so um, probably best not to do that and if you have other players in your faction you can do forward slash F and then set officer and then maybe someone else's username if they are online um, but obviously no one else is in my faction and if you rank people up they can have more permissions so they can start claiming land and access chests and whatnot so it gives them more right uh, if we do f help 4 you can see some more commands so this is how you set your relation with other factions so you can do f ally and then i don't know test 2 if that was a faction um, you can set them as neutral or enemy and uh, that's pretty useful so if we go into our claimed area okay we're in the middle that's good we can do f set home um, and this will set our faction home so now if we do forward slash f home uh, we'll be teleported here you can do the same with warp so set warp um, and then test and you can even set a password for it so this one's not going to have a password uh, the next one is so this is going to be warp uh, 2 and the password is going to be 2 like that so F warp test will warp us there and warp 2 requires a valid password so what's the password where well, it's the number 2 and there we go it will successfully teleport us to here so that's a really awesome um, feature I don't remember that when I used to play 1.6 factions maybe I didn't use it um, but if we go into help 5 um, there are a few more things that we can do so F stuck so if you're in an enemy faction you can be teleported out uh, which is very useful and if we go to forward slash f unclaim all this will get rid of all of our claim land but be careful i wouldn't recommend doing that finally we need to set up a few things as the admin so if we go out of our um, claimed area we can go into the safe zone so if you have played a faction server before you might remember a shop being in a safe zone and then if you travel out a bit you'll go into the war zone where you can't destroy land but you can kill people so the way we do this, if I do F unclaim, uh, what is it, war zone unclaim, so F war unclaim all, and that will get rid of all of the war zone, and the way to claim it again is F claim, put a radius such as 4, and then war zone, and that will claim it. So uh, that's how you claim it, so it will claim from the safe zone and the wilderness, 
you can repeat the same command and claim the safe zone in the same way like this. There we go. So if we check the map now, F map, you will see that there is quite a lot of safe zone and very little war zone. But um, you can go ahead and uh, claim as much as you like depending on how big your spawn is. Uh, another useful command is the F bypass and this will allow you to uh, have admin bypass and you can build and destroy anywhere, go into chests and whatnot. So uh, that's very useful. Uh, finally, if we go onto the final page, uh, you can see a few things here. So here are the warp commands I showed you. Um, you can announce messages to players in a faction and you can ch check the top faction. So F top um, and let's go with uh, power and we are at the top with 10 but as it's only me, of course we're at the top. And if we do F money, this is a cool thing that you can enable in the config file. Uh, it allows you to have to buy various things for a faction or pay to join and pay to leave, pay to claim, all of those things. So you can enable that if you want. Uh, but we are going to go into the conflict file now and show you how to change various things. So here we are in the legacy factions folder and as you can see there are six YML files although there's only one important one which is the conflict. Everything else just saves information or text um, about the server. So in here what can we do? Well we can literally do anything. There is so much in here uh, that you can edit. Up at the top you can change the colours for each thing. So neutral is white, members green and uh, enemy or war is red. Scroll down a bit more and we have information about power so you can set the minimax power a player can have, how much they lose per death and how much they gain per minute. And uh, this is a pretty cool feature, they can gain power offline um, if you set that to true, although that might be, be a bit overpowered. Then we have the default faction relation which is neutral, uh, so this is pretty standard although if you wanted to be cruel you could set everyone um, as an enemy and then people would be at war with each other as soon as they create a new faction. Uh, the minimax length for a faction name, so uh, this stops players from setting a single character as their faction name. Scroll down a bit and then we have the faction member limit, so you can't have a faction with a hundred people for example, or set it to zero to have no limit. Uh, then if we scroll down here you can log everything to do with uh, people joining, kicking and leaving a faction. Scroll down a bit more and we have a section that handles exploits such as enderpearl clipping, obsidian generators and uh, TNT waterlog. Um, so you can stop that if you want, but uh, you can set it true or false depending on whether you want to stop obsidian generators, for example. Scroll down a bit more and we can have a scoreboard. So this is pretty cool. You can have a scoreboard that shows your faction and how much power you have and how much money. If we uh, were to enable the money feature, which we will have a look at in a bit. Uh, the amount of warps you can have and the cost of setting a warp. Obviously you need the economy to be enabled to use this feature, but uh, we'll show you that in a sec. And then the homes feature. So this has a lot of different uh, options that you can set. So you might have to be away from enemy territory to teleport and you have to be 32 blocks away uh, to be able to teleport. Um, so homes allow teleport from a different world, true or false, probably set it to false um, and stuff like that. Homes teleport on death, that's pretty useful, and the home must be in a claimed territory. So we're going to scroll down a bit more, and we're looking at these commands. So when you're in an enemy territory, you will not be able to use any of these commands. So if you sneak into an enemy base, you won't be able to teleport away, you won't be able to teleport someone into your base or accept a teleport. Um, so this stops people from abusing various things. And scroll down even more and we have all of these different things that cannot be used and are protected when you're in an enemy base. So people can't go through trap doors, through, um, through doors or use chests or look in chests and steal your items. So uh, it's pretty important you keep all of these unless you wanted people to be able to get in chests um, when they're in an enemy base. Here is the economy section, so obviously set this to true if you want people to have to pay for various things. So uh, it shows the cost of everything. Uh, for example, $100 or pounds to create a faction, uh, $15 for the owner, uh, $30 to set a home, and zero, zero, zero to j join, leave, kick, etc. So you can change all of this, uh, which is cool. You can even set uh, a cost to make yourself an enemy or neutral to another faction, uh, which is pretty cool. If we scroll down even more, uh, you can see these are all the help commands, so the help pages. 
and uh, if you scroll down a bit more you can see all of the commands and the aliases so um, claim claim line can be shortened to CL and uh, if we scroll down a bit more you can see there is balance shortened to B obviously you can change everything to do with the economy everything to do with various permissions and how much um, each faction can do and what you can do in an enemy base and whether you can teleport home or not uh, there's so much you can change uh, to make your faction server a bit more different from other people's or just to make it a bit more exciting, more difficult. Uh, so that is the plugin. It's great that they brought back 1.6 factions. Subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.